Yes, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is top k frequent elements. In this question, we are given an integer r renums and an integer k, and we have to return the k most frequent elements, and the output may be displayed in any order. So, for example, if we have this as the input and k is two, you can see the most frequent element is one, so you return one as the output, and the second frequent element is two because it's appearing two times. So you return two also as the output. So the output array will be of the length k, and here there is only one element, and we need to return the top most frequent element. So one is returned as the output. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same examples I've given us. This is the nums array, and this is the integer variable k representing the number of elements we have to return. So to get our output, we have to find out the count of each element inside the array. To store the array elements and its respective count, I'll use a hash map. So the keys inside the hash map will represent the array element, and the values will represent the count of each array element. So after filling the hash map, it will look like this. So the keys are holding the array elements, and the value is holding the, its respective count. So one is appearing three times, two is appearing two times, and three is appearing one time. And as hash map does not maintain the order of insertion, these rows might be jumbled inside the hash map storage. Now we have to pick the top two frequent elements from this array. Now we can see that our top two elements, the most frequent is going to be one because it's appearing three times, and the second frequent is going to be two because it's appearing two times. So how are we going to find this out? For this, let's create a list, and inside this list, I'm going to store only from the map. So the list will contain one, two, and three. Now I have to sort this list. According to the values present inside the map, so for this I'm going to use a comparator where I'm going to compare the elements using the values inside the map. So I'm going to get the count of these uh, elements from the map using the get method, and I'm going to compare them according to the values inside the map. And this list will be sorted according to its values from maximum to minimum. So after sorting, also the list will have one, two, and three as the output because three is appearing three times. That will be the most frequent. Next two is appearing. That will be the second most, and one is appearing here. For example, if three was appearing four times, so three will be appearing first inside the array. Next, one will be appearing, and next two will be appearing. Because four is the most frequent, it will sort it like this. Next, this will come here, and the value is two. So its corresponding elements will be coming from the map. So let's go back to our original values, and now we have our output inside this list. Out of this, we have to return the top k elements. K is two, so we have to return the top two elements. So one and two should be returned. So let's create our output array, and I'm creating an index variable to insert it inside the result array. And using a for loop, I'm going to iterate through the list from left to right, and then I'm going to grab it and place it inside index. Next iteration, I'm going to increment index. So index will be pointing here, and in our next iteration, I will be pointing here. So access that element and add it into the result array. And in the next iteration, I will be pointing here, but this for loop will break because I will iterate from zero to k. K is equal to two, and i is pointing at two, so i should always be less than two. So you break the for loop, and whatever is present inside result will be returned as the output. So one and two will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function, this is the function name, and this is the input array nums and the integer variable k. And we need to return an output array, and this output array will be of the length k. So let's start off by creating the map. I'm declaring the map here, which will contain integer as key and integer as value. Now let's iterate through the input array nums from starting to end. And the array element is the key, right? So we're checking if the array element is present as key. If that element is present as key, then we get the element's current frequency and add it with one. So each time you see that element, this if statement will be executed and its count will be incremented as the value. In the else part, the map does not contain that element as key, so you insert that element into the map and set its frequency to one. So this else block will be executed for every unique element, and from the next time when you see that element, this statement will be executed. So this for loop will fill the map, and now we are going to create a list, and this list will contain only the Keys has its value. Whatever keys are present inside the map, we are making a set out of it and store it inside a list. Now we have to sort this list. So as array list is a collection, I'm using collections dot sort to sort the list. So I'm passing the list and I'm creating a comparator here, 
So I'm taking two objects and comparing its frequencies. So I'm sorting it based on the elements frequency. So among two elements, if the elements frequency is greater, that will be displayed first. And next, the elements frequency which is less, that will be displayed. So this list has the output in the required format. And from this list, after sorting, we have to get our top k frequent elements. So as I've said, we have to re return output array. So I'm creating output array. The output array will be of the length k representing the top k frequent elements and now I'm using an index variable to insert elements into the result array. So a top element will be inserted at the zeroth index position. So index starts from zero. So I'm using a for loop which will start from zero till k. We have to insert k elements inside the result array. So result dot index index zero. So the first index position of zero will contain the first element from the list and then for our next iteration we increment index to point at the next index position where result has to be added and this for loop will fill up our result array with k elements and we return the result array as the output. Now let's run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n. n log n because we are sorting the array and the space complexity is also O of n where n is the length of the nums array because we are using a map to store our output and also a list. Now let's debug this code using this example inside an IDE. I have taken the same function which I have written in read code and this is the main function. I am calling this function inside the main method and storing it inside a result array because this function will return a array as the output. Now let's debug the code. I have taken this example where k is equal to 2. Now I added breakpoints. Let's debug it. So this is our input array. Let's see how the map is filled. So first we are starting with the first element which is 1. So one element has been added into the map. Here you can see 1 is mapped with 1. Next element is also 1. So here you can see one more 1 has been added as its value. Key is 1 and its value is 2. Now again it's a 1. So 1's count will be incremented to 3. So here you can see 1 is mapped to 3. Once value is 1, 3. Now i is equal to 3, pointing at 2. So map size has been incremented because 2 has been added into the map and its count has been set to 1. Now it's a 2 again, so increment the count of 2 from 1 to 2. So here you can see count of 2 has been incremented to 2. Now we point at 3. 3 has been added into the map and its value is 1. Now we reach the end, so we come out of the for loop. Now we are creating a list which contains integers and the integers are going to be the keys inside the map. So the map contains the keys as 1, 2 and 3, right? So the list will now contain 1, 2 and 3. Here you can see the size of the list is 3 and the elements inside the list are 1, 2 and 3 at 0th index, 1st index and 2nd index. Now we are sorting the list. Now our list is sorted. So after sorting also the order is same 1, 2 and 3 because 1 is appearing 3 times and 2 is appearing 2 times. Now I'm creating a result array with size 2 and here you can see index is 0, i value is 0. List of 0 has 1 as its value. Now 1 has been added to the list. Now 2 will be added at the second index because index is pointing here. So here you can see 2 has been added to the index. Now when you go for the next iteration, k is equal to 3 and you come out and whatever is present inside result will be returned as the output. Result contains 1 and 2. So that is being called inside the main method. So first we are going to print 1. Next we are going to print 2. And finally this is our output. The top k frequent elements are 1 and 2. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.